Let's uh, join our correspondent, Shaman Freeman Powell. She's in Sussex for us. And Shaman, uh, break down for us the extent of this flooding. Well, I think you can see just how badly this area where we are now is affected. We're in Little Hampton, where emergency services are asking people uh, to get on higher ground in their properties if possible. Unfortunately, though, we're currently stood on a bungalow estate. So for the people living here, it wasn't possible for them to move any higher. So many of them have been evacuated. I want you to just walk with me now so I can show you the extent of the damage. I'm going to take you to someone back garden so you can see just how high the water has come as I say many of the residents here at the bungalow estate have now been evacuated the fire brigade has taken them to the wave center the prioritized elderly people many of whom lived in this residential estate and that's because the power is out and much of the properties around here have been badly damaged and it's not just here in Littlehampton either around 13 miles away. Uh, emergency services are also dealing with severe flooding uh, in an incident at Medmory Holiday Park. One person has been taken to hospital and many people have been evacuated there too. As you say, it's a result of the strong winds and heavy rain uh, by Storm Kathleen, which has battered uh, large parts of England. The official advice is if you have a property where you can go to higher ground, do so. If not, try and uh, evacuate and go somewhere else. I spoke to a man who's lived in this area for over a decade. About three o'clock in the morning last night, he had to go to his son's property because his property was so badly damaged. He was quite concerned, actually. He said that he had never seen anything like this before. And I'd love to say that things will get better. In fact, the water here has reduced somewhat. However, the warning is that we can expect high tides again this afternoon.